Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. So you guys voted and you all really wanted to hear about the galactic wars involving Lyra, also known as the Lyran Draconian Wars. So thank you to one of my subscribers who did recommend this topic and I decided to put it in the poll and everyone else wanted to hear about it too. So this topic uh, really resonates with me as well as I have definitely lived in the Lyran constellation when the Galactic Wars did take place. Um, if you guys want to check out in my other video where I talk about just the Lyrans in general, I do talk about um, my experience there, but I, I will include it at the end of this video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want everybody to know is we are going to talk about the draconians and where they originated so the draconians also known as the reptilians did originate in a different universe other than our own now what's important to remember though before we proceed is that i don't want any type of hate towards draconians uh, or really reptilians because we can't, you know, fully say every reptilian and every draconian is evil, negative soul group, whatever. I mean, you can have that truth, but I, I really would not like it in the comments because the thing is, is when we're doing this, we are really being racist because um, think of it like humans, like you wouldn't say, you know, all humans are bad. You know, no, there are humans that are not so, you know, don't have very good intentions. There are humans that are wonderful and have great intentions, right? And so make sure to understand that not all of the draconians and reptilians are of a negative nature, but the ones that we are going to be talking about today are, okay? So the draconians, they originated in a different universe, okay? And so they are primarily... A negative soul group if you want to check out my video on the draconians you can do that as well uh, a lot of them do look like what you see of a reptilian scaly lizard like um, but also humanoid tall um, intimidating really and it is said that they did cause a lot of havoc in this other universe that they were actually exiled and kind of deposited into our universe okay into the constellation of Draco, and particularly in the star system of Alpha Draconis. Now, all of this happened a roughly 550 million years ago in the current timeline. So these draconian beings, these reptilian beings, are master geneticists, and they have in many different star systems did DNA manipulation and splicing to create different subspecies of themselves and did a lot of experimentation with that as well, which we can talk about that more in a different video. Either way, with this whole conquest, it was all about domination. Their main goal was dominating and their main goal was dominating in service to self, okay? They, si they seeked conquest and they would do whatever means necessary to grab hold, take hold, have power over a particular race. And in this case, the Lyrans. So this event, the Galactic War, the Lyran Draconian War or wars, really started this this uh, war that we have today in our uh, galaxy. And I can also talk about that more in a future video. So like I said, happened about 550 million years ago. And what happened was huge ships embarked from the Alpha Draconis star system. Now, the reptilians at this time had very huge and advanced starships. In fact, the Lyrans at this time did not 
have space travel, okay? Now, the Draconians at this time did, and they had had space travel for a long time, millions of years prior to this. And so they did know what they were doing. They also really, um, you know, researched weaponry and, and mind control tactics and things like that. So in that regard with warfare, they were very um, built, okay? Very built. Now, the Lyrans at this time were really kind of opposite. The Lyrans focused on love and they focused on farming. They focused on peace. They focused on healing. They did not have weapons. They never put any effort into making weapons. They didn't really even know at this time that there were other beings outside of their star system. Of course, they, you know, um, hypothesize, but they never communicated with other star beings at this time. Remember, this was 550 million years ago in our current timeline. So... They were very, very different. The reptil reptilian slash draconian, we'll call them draconians, they had a very military-based, militaristic, uh, masculine energy agenda, okay? The Lyran had a more of a feminine energy agenda. They were all about intuition. They were all about um, nature, really worked with crystals, and peace okay so as we're going to start to talk about what we're building up to okay we are you can already see there's going to be a struggle here because you have one really advanced militaristic race and group versus a group that does not have the same ideals okay so anyway what happens was huge ships embarked and the Lyrans did not have the necessary means to defend themselves. Uh, you'll find varying reports on this. Some people believe that they did kind of have a treaty with the Lyrans that they then deceived. I don't have recollection of that. To me, they just came in and they conquered with violence right away. There wasn't any talk. There wasn't any... Um, you know, agreement. It was just violence. So they wanted to come to this planet mainly to take resources. Um, and when I say planet, that's the wrong word, planets, because it turns out 14 planets in the Lyran star system were ambushed and annihilated. Uh, when they came to this star system, they wanted resources on their planets in their star system. They had run out of food sources. They've run out of resources to, you know, create things, just any type of resource that they used, they were running low on. Their, their planets were more barren, okay? And so that was their primary goal. But also remember, there is this domination factor that they have. So they came in and, oh yes, I also forgot to mention, also they think that the resources, when I say they, um, the research that I have done, uh, I have researched that they, um, the resources were dwindling. One theory is because they were reproducing too fast. And what's important to realize is that reproduction in the draconian reptilian sphere of existence is not like reproduction on planet earth uh, they do not seek natural reproduction they seek very artificial reproduction and uh, as we know evolution is very natural right uh, as things evolve naturally you know that is how we could get into that right but my point is with this is that they did not want evolution to happen. They did not let their race uh, evolve naturally. There was a lot of experimentation. There was a lot of DNA manipulation, okay? And so because of that, they ended up just bam, 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 cloning so many reptilians that they ran out of resources. Now, when they came onto Lyra, um, into the star system, 
think of it as complete annihilation. Um, I have a very specific memory where I see a ship coming in. I am happy. I am running through the field with my sister at that time. And I see a ship come in. I mean, just huge, fills the sky and there's explosions and there's bombs and she turns around and she looks at me and I feel this such a sadness and that's where my energy stops she's holding my hand she turns around did I say energy my memory stops but I knew that it was just annihilation so there was rape there was torture there was um murder of course they often had sex slaves there was like cannibalism. I mean, technically it's not cannibalism because they are different species and different races, but they would actually consume the flesh of the Lyrans. Um, it was very graphic, okay? And it is estimated that 50 million Lyrans were slaughtered at the hands of the Draconians during this time. 50 million, a lot, right? And they could not defend themselves because they did not have any weapons. And they just, they didn't know that there were beings that would even do such an atrocity, right? And so they also did a lot of, like I said, experimentation. There was breeding. There was, like I said, rape. So um, there was... Uh, breeding with the two races that happened externally okay where they did things but there was actual you know uh rape and like i said sex slaves as well they would keep slaves they would enslave them and they would do a lot of terrible things okay and so if you are a lyran and you resonate with this you if you go and visit your past memories most likely you are going to have been in one of these situations and sometimes it is a traumatic memory i will tell you i will tell you okay anyway there were refugees there there 14 of the planets were destroyed not all of the planets but a vast majority of the planets um but there were some refugees that were able to uh go to other star systems and so like the Orion star system, the Syrian star system, different star systems. And so that's how a lot of those Lyrans would come to go to these other star systems, okay? Either way, though, this was an absolute, really pivotal point in our galactic history because this was, from my understanding, the entrance of the draconian slash reptilian beings into our universe and into our galaxy. Because the draconians did not stop with the Lyrans, I have channeled that the Lyrans were the ones that suffered the most at the hands of the draconians, but the Orions have as well, as well as other uh, star beings. So kind of a sad story here, but after all of this happened, after the Lyrans moved to other star systems, and some did remain in the Lyran star system on other planets, that's when they started researching weaponry, they started researching defense tactics, and they became more militaristic themselves. Still not like the Draconians, but that's when they started to realize that, you know, there are others in our galaxy and that there is light and darkness out here okay and so that is my discussion about this okay so uh i want you to know i, I want to know your guys's memories if you're willing to share them my memories that i have of lyra beautiful place but yeah i've got some pretty dark memories regarding this and you know this lasted you know quite a while um, and so it's very long ago, but it still remains within our DNA. It still remains within our memories, okay? And so know that that trauma can still be part of you. You know, you can have soul fragmentation in those events. 
And so the best way to deal with that soul fragmentation is actually to visit and go back to the traumatic event, um, which is scary, but is necessary. And through that, we can sever those ties. But know that the Lyran beings, even through all of that pain, even through all of that upset, there are beautiful beings, beautiful, beautiful beings who have really worked on masters, who have really mastered healing, okay? They were healers before they were attacked but after that they have really mastered the art of healing the soul um and it was needed after the events that they had to go through okay and so again uh know that this was a pivotal moment and know that this is not the only time nor is this the last time that galactic wars do happen throughout our galaxy and in other universes as well, okay? So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for listening. I hope that this uh, provided you with some information and I hope too that you can heal from the atrocities that happened during the galactic wars on Lyra. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.